electronic group sets on bicycles are just better than mechanical gear operated group sets in my humble opinion and in this video I'll explain several reasons why I believe that is the case. Modern bikes, whether road, gravel or especially mountain bikes look very different to 10, 20 or 30 years ago or whenever you started riding bikes. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. They also sound different. The bus and whir of electronic group sets is a very distinctive change on modern bicycles. And in the world of professional cycling, at races like the Tour de France, all the riders are exclusively on electronic group sets. And away from the pro ranks, many amateur riders and enthusiasts are now on electronic group sets as the big manufacturers, especially Shimano and SRAM, are bringing electronic group sets down to lower price points, making it more accessible and more affordable for many people. But there are a few reasons why electronic group sets might not be the choice for you. And I'll save those for the end of the video. For me personally, the best reason why electronic group sets are superior to mechanical group sets is the precision and the speed. Press a gear button and the gear change is instant. No delay, no missed gears. This makes shifting easier as there's less effort required to change gear. Now this is especially true here in the UK during the winter. When you're riding in the cold and the rain and your hands are frozen, you can't feel your fingertips, you lost all feeling in your fingers. And changing gear with a mechanical group that can be tricky. I've had occasions when changing gear is almost impossible, but Thanks to electronics, pressing a button is easy, even when you can't feel your fingers and hands. It's also a benefit when you're racing or just riding hard and fast. When you haven't got time to think about a gear change, you can press a button, it's effortless, doesn't require any brain power at all. And when you're in the heat of a race, like pros often are, that simplicity of shifting wins out every time. And when speed matters, the auto trim feature on a front mech is a fantastic feature and one, probably the biggest benefit of a electronic group set over a mechanical setup, especially when you're riding fast and you're racing. Because with mechanical, you have to manually trim the front mech. You have two or three positions, depending on the gear you're in and the cassette. But electronic, you change gear and it auto trims for you, which means there's never ever any chain rub on that front mech. Electronic gears allow you to customize the setup in several interesting ways, which you can't do with mechanical. Firstly, you can add optional shifters anywhere on the bike, but mainly on the handlebar, giving you more options to change gear in different situations. One of my favorites is having buttons on the tops. That's great for climbing. I prefer climbing, especially a long alpine climb on the tops rather than the hoods or the drops. And having no buttons on the tops, so if you're taking your hand off the handlebar, to the hood to change gear. I mean, it's a small saving, but it works really nicely. And when you try it, you can't go back. The other one for racing are sprint shifters, small buttons inside the drops. So you're racing, sprinting in the drops, and you change gear more easily using your thumbs. You can do this with Shimano and SRAM, and SRAM makes it really easy with wireless blips. You can put these anywhere on the handlebar, have them anywhere on the bike, basically. Give them to your teammate even, but maybe not. So more options to change gear in different situations that suit your preference. Secondly, you can personalize how the group set works. And this is a really neat, often untapped feature on Shimano and SRAM. For example, a Shimano Synchro Shift takes control of the front mech, shifting it when it thinks it's the right time. So all you do is change gear and don't worry about the front mech and it does it all for you. It gives you the simplicity of one by with the added range of two by. And it's something you can further tune as well. So it's a racing setup, which tries to put you back in the big ring as soon as you crest the top of a hill. Or if you're more of a spinner, it'll keep you in a small ring for longer. And another really popular feature that is a big benefit over mechanical is how you can display the gear you're in on a compatible bike computer from Garmin, Wahoo, or Karoo. That's a really neat feature because most modern group sets don't have any gear indicators, but having that displayed on your computer on your stem or out front mount, lets you know what gear you're in, in case you forget, and just lets you have more control over the bike more of the time. In my many years of testing bikes, electronic group sets are simply easier to maintain and more reliable. Yes, 
there is the obvious potential for a battery to fail, but in my 10 years of testing electronic bikes since they first came out with Shimano Di2 in 2011, I've had one single battery fail, which I think is pretty good considering how many bikes I ride. Yes, I've had batteries go flat due to my lack of charging them, but that's another matter. Now, compared to that, a gear cable is fairly unlikely to snap, but it can fail. And I know a rider who's doing a transcontinental across Europe and a gear cable on his bike snapped. And with the internal routing on that bike, it was a nightmare to replace. Gear cables also need regular maintenance if they work as well as they should do. Ride through the rain and the mud like I do here in the UK and that cable housing, the cable inside will get dirty, full of grit and water and the shift quality will suffer. So for that reason, you have to maintain the gear cables on a regular basis. Compared to that, electronics work all the time. Through the mud, rain, snow, there's nothing to stop them working to their best. The biggest concern with electronic group sets is keeping a battery charged up. But considering that most of us have a smartphone, mobile phone to keep charged up, well, there's no more trouble than that at all. Electronic group sets are definitely easier to install on a new bike, whether a pro or home mechanic. And with the latest 12 speed Shimano setup, it's all done through the app. You simply follow the on screen instructions. It really is a doddle. And once it's done, it's set and forget. It never goes out of tune, never needs tweaking or adjusting, whether six months, 12 months, or two years down the line. Mechanical groups that require lots of knowledge and know how to set them up properly. Lots of dials and screws on the front and rear derailleurs to set up, especially the indexing. And over time, it can go out of tune. So you have to regularly adjust the indexing on the front and rear derailleurs to keep the gears working sweetly. Whereas electronic works all the time, no matter the conditions you're riding through. One of the big reasons why electronic group sets are so popular on modern road bikes is integration and full internal cable routing. They are trends and buzzword in the world of cycling, mainly in road bikes, but also happening in gravel and now mountain bikes as well. For better or worse, the way modern bikes are going, I do see lots of comments from people who want to buy a bike with full internal cable routing for how sleek, modern, and clean it looks. And with electronic group sets, it's much easier. A mechanical setup with the gear cables makes it almost impossible to route the cables through the stem and handlebar. And where it is possible, in my experience, the shifting quality is compromised. Gear cables like a nice smooth path from the shifter to a derailleur. But as soon as you start putting it through the stem or handlebar or frame, that shift quality is compromised from light and effortless to heavy and slow in my experience. And a few bikes I have ridden over the years with a internal routed mechanical setup, the shifting was compromised and heavy. Not as good as it should be on a perfect setup. The electronic wires on a Shimano or Campag setup, however, don't mind the path they take from the shifter to a derailleur. You put them through the handlebar, stem, round corners, over steerer tubes, it's all fine. And with wireless, as with SRAM, well, no wires, is it even easier? Just bolt the components on, connect them, and it's that simple. All that said though, there are some cons to electronic group sets and why Mechanical still has a small hope for the future. The first reason is a price. Electronic group sets, despite now being offered in three tiers from Shimano and SRAM, are more expensive than Mechanical group sets. They're newer, the more technology, more development costs in these electronic group sets and the prices are higher. So that is a definite negative. The other is weight. Motors and batteries add weight to a group set and even the best modern third generation electronic group sets are heavier than the last generation of super lightweight mechanical shifting setups. And yes, disc brakes are a big reason why the group sets are heavy. But even with a rim brake version compared to a rim brake mechanical setup, there is a weight penalty. And the other one is more subjective and definitely personal, looks. And while I'm a big fan of SRAM Axis for shifting, customization, and performance, the batteries on the front and rear derailleurs are ugly, big, and chunky. And compared to the minimal design of a mechanical group set, just aren't as pretty in my opinion. And with all that said, 
if you want to see a video on why I still think there should be a place for a mechanical group set with a deep dive into one of the best ever made, then watch a video right up here.